Hi guys, I'm Danny the Traveler, and I'm here with Rocky the Traveler, and welcome to another episode of the Rocky Road Show, uh, the middle of the sea edition. We're on our way to the UK from the Netherlands, and we're here to show you guys what it's like to take your dog from uh, from Netherlands to the UK via the Stanline Ferry. So yeah, let's check it out. We were returning to the UK from traveling in Europe for a while, and we wanted to take the ferry back home, which is one of the best options if you're traveling with a dog between Europe and the UK. We've taken the Stanline Ferry a few times, and it's a very smooth course and takes about six and a half hours or so. So we showed up to the Stena Line port an hour or so before boarding time and chilled out there waiting to be called. And I thought it would be cool to show you guys what it's like to take the ferry to England. The biggest reason I chose this ferry was because it was one of the few that would allow you to take your dog with you even if you were traveling by foot, which we were. Of course, we had everything we needed with us, including my passport and Rocky's pet passport. And once we passed through our check-in, we were clear to board the ferry boat. We are now uh, traveling over to the uh to the Netherlands ferry uh, to go to England. And I'm here with Rocky, who's uh, jogging alongside next to me. So it's, uh, it's gonna be quite a long journey, but uh, Rocky already did his uh, number one and number two. So uh, <clears throat> I think it's about six hours in total, and he'll be, uh, he'll be in the kennel. But uh, no worries, because I'll I'll be able to take him out at some point and uh, I have a CCTV of his kennel so yeah um, we'll check that out Once inside the ferry, I had to check in Rocky immediately to his kennel. The kennel room was empty, so Rocky had it to himself today. Although we had our own blanket, the ferry does provide you with tons of blankets, as well as bowls, some water, and a few other things. And uh, oh yeah, kennel camera so I can keep an eye on Rocky. Now, the kennel was located just one level beneath the main deck and I can visit him whenever I wanted to. Alright boy, you had the whole place to yourself. Try not to party too much. I'll miss you, but I'll come and visit you in a bit. So now that I dropped Rocky off at the kennels, I'm going to show you guys a bit of what it's like inside the ferry, including the cabin. I picked a small cabin as it was only going to be me who was sleeping here, but as you can see, there are two beds. There's also an ensuite bathroom and shower, so it's very much like a small hotel room. All right, uh, yeah, let's see what Rocky's up to. We're gonna turn on the TV here and uh, switch over to the CCTV channel. There's Rocky and he's just chilling. So I will show you guys a bit more of the ferry and then I'm gonna go down and check on Rocky. There's a duty-free shop, uh, lobbies, a cinema, 
gaming and casino areas, and of course, the outside deck. There's also some cool bars out here and the best views that you'll find of the North Sea. We're about to uh, go check on Rocky now. I ended up putting a blanket over him so he can sleep better. Now it was time to get some lunch. There's a few options on the ferry including this buffet. Or you can do what I did and buy your lunch at the ferry's nice restaurant when you book your ticket online which comes out to be the same price as a lunch at the buffet and you get a nice view. Hey guys, so I'm, uh, I'm here in my cabin room now and uh, I'm gonna take a little nap but I'll keep the TV on, which uh, will have the CCTV playing um, and show Rocky uh, taking a nap, hopefully. There he is. In a little while, I'm gonna take out Rocky out to the uh, pet relief area uh, so he could do his number one or number two. Alright, uh, we're gonna take Rocky out for a little bit at the uh, pet relief area, so yeah, let's do it. Now the outside dog walking area was just a small area on the deck where Rocky could get some fresh sea air, but there's obviously no grass, which could make it a bit tricky if your dog is trained to do their business on grass. It was also pretty windy and chilly out. So our walk didn't last very long, but it's still nice to go out and let him stretch and pee. Now it was time for Rocky to go back in the kennel, but don't worry, time, as you may know, can fly pretty quickly. And before you know it, England was in our sights. Once we docked, it was time to pick up Rocky from the kennel and now we just had to wait our turn to disembark and Rocky couldn't wait to go out and stretch his legs again. At the port of Harwich, you can usually take a train straight to London, but the trains were not in service today, 
So we ended up taking a bus to London Liverpool Street Station. Thanks guys for joining us on this little adventure from the Netherlands to the UK and we hope it can help you if you ever want to travel with your pet to and from Europe. See you on the next adventure.